In the last video, I gave you a large blocking brush to help you prepare a canvas for painting. The diffuser brush featured in this video will also help you prepare a canvas, but in a very different approach. So the goal of the diffuser brush is to create sort of a stippled underpainting, one that looks like it's made up of a bunch of tiny brush strokes. It's going to do this by randomizing and scattering the colors that are already in a finished painting. So in a way, I'll be destroying another painting in order to lay the groundwork from a new one. You can begin with any image you like, and for this example, I'll just be using one of my old paintings. First off, I want to show you what the brush would look like if I were to use it additively. So I'll make a new layer, select black, and paint with the diffuser brush. So you can see that it looks sort of like a splatter brush, like someone flicked paint off of some bristles. Well, I'm not actually going to be using it with the brush tool. In fact, I designed this brush head to be used with the smudge tool. So my first step is going to be to select the smudge tool, set the strength to 100%, and make sure that sample all layers is activated. This brush is going to have quite a bit of lag because it's got a very large diameter, so you might want to use it on a smaller canvas to begin with. So I'll make a new layer, and this step is important because if you don't, you'll destroy your original image. And now all I do is just move the brush around the canvas. And you can change the diameter size if you want as you go. And you can tell that this is sort of hard to control precisely. So just have a good time with it, and if you need to make a new layer and try it again, no problem. But I like the way that this randomizes the colors and makes a bunch of little brush strokes that'll make for some nice richness when you end up doing your painting on top of it. Because there'll be areas where the background peeks through a little bit, and now you'll have a variety of texture and color, but not so much as to distract from the overall value arrangement of the image. You'll notice that this is relatively low contrast overall. So if you want to try this for yourself, just look for the download button at the bottom of the post. Thanks for watching.